In the 1920s, flying at night and in inclement weather was extremely dangerous. After finding the airfield and not having visual contact with the ground, it was impossible to land on the runway. In 1929, a series of experiments were carried out at College Park, Maryland, using a radio method of guiding airplanes to the runway. The National Bureau of Standards designed a radio guidance system that coordinated the movement and positioning of the aircraft to the runway. This system consisted of a series of marker beacons, a glide path beam, and a localizing beam. In 1931, a historic flight at College Park Airfield ushered in a new era in aviation. A pilot landed his aircraft using only his instrumentation without visual contact with the ground. The system works like this. At 20 miles from the runway, at 4,000 feet, a marker beacon signal is detected and the pilot's radio receiver detects the localizing beam from a transmitter trailer finding the aircraft on the runway approach. At four miles from the runway, at 2,000 feet, another marker beacon signal is detected and the glide path beam is received, lining the aircraft on the proper altitude approach. On the pilot's instrument panel is a cross pointer instrument, one needle indicating to the pilot the proper altitude approach and the other needle the proper runway alignment. Keeping the needles at right angles on the meter, the pilot maintains the proper landing approach. The pilot lands successfully whether he can see the runway or not.